what is the transformation that you think um, you would like to see over to Singapore? I think there are three elements, uh, at least, uh, to this transformation that so many people have been talking about and have expressed so much concern about. I think first is really about deep listening, very thoughtful listening uh, to a lot of the feedback and concerns that have surfaced during, before and also after the GE. Uh, the other thing I think that's very critical is to have a very in-depth understanding of the needs of the residents and also of the community. And I think the, the third part to this is really to think of solutions and to implement them with a caring heart, always. I think these are, to me, the three most important elements of whatever transformation uh, that we intend to embark upon. Selection for me, uh, uh, as we go on the campaign and so on, I pick up a lot of issues and concerns from residents. I think uh, uh, what, what I will do in the next term is to really to reflect this as much as I can in Parliament and to, to the Ministry, to the policy makers, so that all these uh, issues uh, get addressed, get, get listened to. Uh, and uh, I think uh, we have to expand as well as deepen our engagement with our residents. So the way we conduct our activities and so on, uh, these engagement elements will increase you know, uh, as we go about in the next few years. Uh, we want more participation for our residents as well, so I'm going to you know, uh, really uh, bring in as many volunteers as possible so they can, they can be part of this whole process as well, to also help to uh, uh, be part of the process to improve their own town. So that's also that, that something that we want to do. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, our, our, our job is to improve lives of our residents in the neighbourhoods and United States. So we want to do this and then we want to monitor our outcomes, our results, and so that uh, we can deliver those promises you know, that we have, as, we have uh, said. So I think all in is going to be, um, uh, we're we looking forward to really uh, working closely with residents, working harder and making more difference in the next few years. What were some of the key concerns that were brought up? I think some of these national issues that we have heard about, you know, the cost of living, the housing, uh, some competitions and so on. I think those are the issues that are very genuine and I want to really bring this up again in Parliament and I want to hear what the, the Minister will, will say to address all these issues, what we're going to do about it. So I think the, that, that's something I promised the residents and I want to do that, you know, in the next term. Do you see the role of the backbencher MP changing in Parliament for this big backbencher PAP and now that uh, there are so many more in the opposition? And I think it will change. I mean, uh, um, we, we, especially with this, uh, this whole elections where you hear a lot more, uh, and I think the key thing that is, what was mentioned is we, we really have listened, we have to listen more. So that part of the, you know, you know, the, the uh, bringing up of all this uh, feedback that we receive, inputs that we receive to the parliament, that, that will be a lot more. Uh, I, for, for myself, I will, there will be more issues I want to champion personally after hearing from, from, the, from, from my residents and so on. So, so to that extent, yes, I, I will be, you know, uh, uh, pushing for more, more uh, you know, some of the issues to be addressed by, by, by the policy makers. But wouldn't, uh, might, might there not be a case in which uh, the PAP and PS uh, have to be more defensive because uh, there's, there's now the opposition and PS attacking? I think I will speak my mind, you know. I, I think it's not about whether, we, I mean, at the end of the day, if there's an issue, we have to look at the issue and, and, and address it and solve it, you know. So it, it doesn't matter whether it's what, what we have, you know, certain policy that we advocate and so on. I think I, I will speak my mind for, my, for me, that's what I'll do, yeah. What are the key issues that will be for your support? Well, during the campaign trail, we, we got uh, a lot of encouragement and support for those, uh, for those residents who supported us and our policies. But at the same time, even those who supported us um, and for those who may not have voted us this time, they gave us very constructive feedback and feedback from the heart. And you could see that there was a sense of sincerity in what they were trying to communicate. So some of the things that they have communicated are education, health and um, housing. And I will certainly take these issues up, principally uh, for education, whether we could rethink the workload for children, uh, for housing and healthcare, the cost and availability. So it's, um, I will take these to heart. I think my record shows that I speak my mind in Parliament and I've spoken over a hundred times in Parliament on issues and I will certainly raise these issues. Um, also, while there is, um, uh, you know, uh, residents come up and say, you know, 
thank you for taking us out of the crisis. But equally, I think you need to implement your policies with heart. And, and that's what we want to see. A meshing of, um, of economic policies with the heart of the people at its interests and the heart of the people at its consequence. Is it true that uh, middle and upper middle class uh, voters swung towards the opposition as was seen in Juche and the East Coast, other areas where there were a lot of private housing? What did you see in Rulopanda and the street there? I think the, it's a phenom, it's a, it's a, it was a pattern across the board. I don't think you could uh, isolate one single segment, whether young or old, private or HDB. Um, it's a, as Minister says, we are smack on the 60.1 national average and it's no accident that we are. We have uh, um, both uh, public housing as well as private housing in our midst. Uh, in our constituency and we have to address their concerns uh, across the board.